the Rams' promotion dream was ended for another year on Monday night, as they were beaten by Fulham in the championship playoff semi-final. Slavisa Jakinovic's men overturned a one-goal deficit to triumph 2-1 on aggregate and set up a Wembley final against Aston Villa or Middlesbrough. Carson produced a string of fine saves to keep Fulham at bay until halftime at Craven Cottage. But Ryan Sessegnon leveled the tie less than two minutes into the second half and Dennis O'Doy's 66th minute header proved decisive. It all means Derby are facing an 11th successive season in the championship. They have reached the playoffs in three of the past five years but have fallen just short on each of those occasions. Carson was part of the side that lost to Hull City at the semi-final stage in 2016. After the defeat to Fulham, the England international said, the lads are devastated and, personally, it's hard to take. There have been a lot of emotions this season and, no disrespect to the championship, we don't want to be playing in this division. We want to be playing in the Premier League, from the young lads right up to the chairman. That's where we want to be. We want to be coming up against the best players, Scott Carson at Fulham Carson was Derby's player of the year in 2016-17, and the 32-year-old enjoyed another impressive campaign on a personal level, making 49 appearances in all competitions. So, what next for this Rams team? You're probably asking the wrong person, he said. That's a question for the chairman, Mel Morris, the manager, Gary Rowett, the coaching staff. We've got a few weeks now to relax. It's going to take a while to get this feeling out of our systems. That's what it is. It's football, we've just launched our very own app for Android and Apple devices which can be tailored to deliver the news and sport that you're interested in. To download the iOS app click here. To download the Android app click here.